Good evening. This here is a video response to Randy Ramsey with Common Sense in the Drive Thru. Yeah, I saw your video, even left you a type of comment. Well, kind of doing a little elaboration on it. Yeah, you're right. People in the drive thru have no courtesy because it is designed for expedited services. It's designed to go in there, you pull up to the thing, look at the reader board, know what you want. Give it to put your order in, go up to the drive through get you, give them your money, get your product, get the bug. Well, I myself used to be a fast food manager, and well, I've ran into some things too, had my share with stupid people in the drive through Yeah, about those three sizes, small, medium, and large, yeah, like I said, one day I was working the drive through and I had this woman come through, you know. She wanted an ice cream product. And I was like, and it came in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And I said, all right, would you like that small, medium, or large? And she's like, regular. Okay, is that a small, medium, or a large? What you mean, small, medium, or large? Regular. Okay, which one would be regular to you, small, medium, or large? And she turned it around on me and said, what's regular to you? I'm like, large. Extra, extra, large. That bee's the one you want? She's like, no, I want a small. Then you didn't say that, why? Yeah, another thing that used to get on my nerves about the drive-thru, the people that think they have to honk the horn in the drive-thru to get the cashier's attention. Well, I had an employee who was a new hire at the time that I was training for drive-thru. Well, this woman that, uh, in, a, in an old beat-up maroon Grand Marquise, looks like a mid-80 model, pulls through the drive-thru, and she greets her, and the lady's like, hey, give me just a minute, please, and she says, like, well, okay, take your time, let me know when you're ready, 30 seconds later, ha, ah! and she looked up at me, because that was the first time she encountered that, and I kind of butted in, and I'm like, ma'am, do you mind not honking your horn in the drive-thru, and she's like, well, y'all gonna take my order? Man, you said you needed a minute. We gave you, we said, let us know when you're ready. And she said something else smart. And I just went ahead and said, you may now put your order in. And she's like, oh, well, let me get an extra long. Extra long, you want it with or without onions? Without. You want to go ahead and make that a combo? Get you a drink and a fry? No, just the, just the extra long. All right, anything else? No. Your total is $2.91. Thank you, drive through. Wow, all that just for something simple. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and I know there was this one time that we had already closed. But there was a customer that came like five minutes before we closed. You know, they ordered a kid's meal, and it didn't come with toast. So she comes back 15 minutes after, okay, after we shut off our open light, pulled the thing down that said, sorry, we're closed clicked off all the external lights and dimmed the lights in the lobby. She pulls back up, to, she passes the speaker box and pulls straight up to the window. And I opened them, I walked over there, opened the window, I'm like, I'm sorry, we're closed. And she's like, we didn't get our toast. I'm like, oh, the kids meal doesn't come with toast. Yeah, it's messed up, I know. What can I do? I just work there. But anyway, she's like, well, can we get some toast? We had already, we had already shut the toaster off and through everything out. She's like, oh, it ain't no trouble. How much is a piece of toast? Normally, it's 42 cents, but like I said, we're closed. We already shut everything off. She pulls up a dollar bill, and keep in mind, I had already pulled the drawers, you know, out of the cash registers and took them into the back office for counting them. I'm like, I'm sorry, we're closed. So I, sh I politely close the window, head back to the office, and I just hear this whoosh, this loud whoosh. So I walk up there and I'm like, uh, excuse me, but I think we said we're, I think I said we're closed. She has her telephone in her hand and she's like, we calling the law. Well, that's fine with me. I'll stand here and wait for them whenever we're done closing. So good night. I close the window and this time I put the padlock on it, which is probably something I should have done initially. And I know there was this one time that there was a woman that came through the drive through it took her five minutes to order this right here. Five minutes. 
and I had another employee that was working the drive through. You know, she pulls up, and I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, great nerd. She's like, yeah, give me just a minute. A minute later, you ready, ma'am? No, not quite. Still need a minute. So he does it like four more times a minute. On the fifth time, after it had been a little over five minutes, I'm like, ma'am, are you ready to order? And she's like, can I get a double meat cheeseburger? <laughs> oh, and my employee just threw it. Through a silent little hissy fit, you know, he's throwing punches. You know, cause, and I couldn't really blame him because she wasted his time and everyone else's time that was behind her. And when she pulls up to the to the window, you know, he opened the window and gave her her total. And this is the face she made. Let's see if I can do it. She's like, while she's giving the guy her money, she's like. And it gave me an idea. We should have a wall of shame for dumb customers. Because that face she made, I wish I took a picture of it and put underneath it, and put a little title under it that said, it took me five minutes to say, let me get a double meat cheeseburger and hang it on the wall of shame. And I know there was another instance where this woman tried to use the customer's always right tactic on me. Huh, <laughs> bullshit. Well... And, you know, I can almost kind of see where she was going since all she ordered was a drink product. But it wasn't just any drink. It was a slushy. And every so often, the slushy machine jams up to where you actually got to open the valve. And when nothing's coming out of it, you got to take a plas long plastic spoon and kind of stick it up there and manually get it out, which will take about a minute to pour out. She pulls through the drive-thru. Let, let me get a large cherry slushy. Anything else? No, that's it. 172. Thank you, drive-thru. And as soon as she said cherry slushy, I'd already put the put the stuff in it and started fighting with the thing. I was still I had just started fighting with it when I gave her her total. She pulls up to the window, uh huh, like she was expecting her drink. As soon as she pulled up to the thing, uh huh. And by the time I got her thing filled up, like a minute later, I put the lid on it, pulled out the straw, and I'm like, okay, it's one seventy two, and she's like. Look, I love, can I say something? I'm like, sure. I love this place and all, but y'all's drive through etiquette is horrible. I'm thinking, is etiquette really even a real word? I'm like, okay, can I ask what the deal is? And she's like, I can understand if I ordered out the whole store, but all I ordered was a drink. And I'm like, I, you're right. You did under, you did order a drink. However, we had a little problem with the machine and I had to manually feed the stuff out of it. I'm sorry that you had to wait on it. She's like, yeah, but it's just a drink. It should already be ready. I'm like, well, it's ready right now, 172. She's like, yeah, but don't you think the customer always has the brightest opinion? And I'm like, not necessarily. I mean, some things you just can't control. And unfortunately, that was something I couldn't control. She's like, well, now that I've given you exact change, may I please have my drink? Here's your drink. You have a nice day. She takes it, drives off, looking disgusted. But hey, once again, some things you just can't control. That just happened to have been one of them. That's all I got for you now, Ramsey. You just, yeah, you just go ahead and keep the keep the videos coming, man. Keep them coming. That was a good one. And also, I made a few fast food rants myself. Two parts. It's called Fast Food Wars and Fast Food Wars 2. That's that's all I have for you now, bro. I am Larry Toussaint, and thank you for watching. Good evening. Cut.